Prayer is very essential to us as a believer of Christ. You cannot be an effective Christian. You cannot even witness properly without having a concrete prayer life. Your prayer life must be updated. Uh, prayer really plays a great role to us as a believer in Christ. Uh, prayer, prayer is the communication between us and God. Uh, and when I say communication, I, I simply mean that prayer is a two-way conversation. Most time when we pray, we uh, give God our request, we give him our wants, we tell him what he needs to do, and give him a timeline, and if he don't do it, then we move on and we try to do it ourselves. But prayer is a two-way conversation between you and God. There are times when you have to listen to God. You have to wait on the answer. And the answer don't always come when you want it. It don't always come when I want it. Sometimes it's years before you get an answer to a prayer. And if you're like me, there are some prayers that you have prayed 10, maybe 12 years ago, and you're still waiting on some answers. And some prayers that you prayed uh, 10, 12, 13, 14 years ago, you received an answer. But one thing I learned about prayer communication with God, God does not work on our timing. It doesn't matter on how you try to promote him and how you try to trick him to do things early. God has his own time set to do that which he wants to do. And no matter how you speak in tongue, no matter how you cry and you whine and you roll over on the floor, you can even get baptized 17 times in a week. If it's not God's intention for your prayer to be answered that time and according to that season, it will not be answered. Prayer answering from God comes in seasons. And a lot of people refuse to tell you that. They refuse to say that. And then you do have others that don't even know that. God answered prayer in his own time, in his season, at his own working. And no matter what you do and how you do it, until God answered the prayer, it will not be answered. And I also find out as well, uh, sometimes God will delay your prayer, not to be denied, but he would delay the prayer because you're not ready for the blessing. Some things that we pray for and we ask for, we're just not ready or in a spiritual receivement in order to receive it. And God have to hold up our answer to some prayers until we are in the right season. For an example, uh, you can pray and ask God for something uh, and he would give it to you. And you could be asking God for it because you want to outshine somebody else. You want to look good because somebody else look good. And you can't handle the blessing. God don't give us blessings according to when we want it and how we want it and like we want it. God blesses us according to our spiritual level. He blesses us according to what you can handle. The scripture told you he would put no more on you than what you can bear. That's not only meaning uh, trials and tribulation. It also meaning answering to some of your prayers. If you're not ready for the blessing, God is not going to give it to you. You have to ride it out. You got to wait it out. And once you get into the area where you can handle the blessing, and God see that you can handle this big blessing and still praise him and still serve him, still worship him, 
still glorify him and not change from the relationship that you have between, between him and you, then he'll do it. There are some things I know that I've asked God for. And if God would have gave it to me 20 years ago, 25 years ago, I would have messed it all up. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be transparent with you. I was not in a position to handle the blessing. The blessing that I received today, I would not have been able and had enough sense and wisdom to handle the blessings that I deal with today 20 years ago. But let me tell you something about that. I find out when God promised you something and when God tells you that he's going to do it, you can rest assured God will do it. And if it take God five years, if it take him seven years, if it take him ten years to answer that prayer that's on the back burner, you can rest assured his word will not go unvoid. You can rest assured you have another seven or ten years of grace of living. Because God will not allow your eyes to go closed until he bless you like he said he was going to do. So we always be in a hurry and asking God to bless us right now, God. Do it now, God. Oh, Jesus, come down, Lord. And if God come now and bless us, it would just mess us up. But God has his time set. Don't be in a hurry. What you saying, preacher? Don't be in a hurry for God to answer all of your prayers today, tomorrow, and next week. Because if he answer all of them prayers tomorrow and next week, by the end of this year, you'll probably be gone. Because all of your prayers has been answered and received. But when you know God haven't answered all of your prayers, and when God promised you something, and he told you he was going to do it, and seven years going past, it looked like another seven years is coming. You can rest assured. Before your eyes close, if it take God seven more years, he's going to answer that prayer before you close your eyes. That's a guarantee of another year of life living. Oh, my God, you be blessed. I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you in the next video. And whatever you do on this upcoming week, keep a praise in your mouth. Keep a hallelujah in your mouth. Keep a glory to God in your mouth. Keep a thank you, Jesus, in your mouth. And I'll assure you, the blessings of God will find you. They will meet you at the intercession. I'm gone. I'm out of here. I'll talk to you soon. See you in the next video.